All right. Taking over the city, everyone. Los Santos. It's ours. <laughs> well, not quite. Getting there, though. One property at a time. <laughs> so our new nightclub guinea is our first sell. So I know it's got to add. It's been taking me a while to get our first uh, nightclub sell on the way, underway. But for me, the, the, a lot of the uh, the great thing about the after hours nightclubs is the property itself, the club, the the happening tunes, the uh, the people all hanging out in there, the drinks. The it's pretty cool. It's nice having some social hangouts. Plus a garage. Plus this. Plus that. It's pretty cool. Um, but it also is a warehouse selling business, and we're going to get into that today. Yeah. So wonder, have they fixed it on the map yet? Oh, I think they have. Let me see. Yeah. Sit down. Sometimes he's got to think a couple times about it. He doesn't want to. <laughs> he does a little trot. I don't know. Yeah, I think you guys know what I mean. Sometimes you got to click a few times. You got to convince them. Inspiration. Come on. You like it. All right. So we got some help here. Midnight S'mores. Thanks again. Yep. Yeah. There we are. And I'm going to update our, our uh, decorations finally too. As people know who've been watching for a while, it reverted to the uh, default in our office. We're going to get that done soon too. So there is the map and they have updated it because I'm pretty sure that green dot at the top there, if you can kind of see that, that's on the right side of the map. That green dot is our nightclub. So the nightclubs show up on the map nowadays. Excellent. All right, so let's go run and do our first nightclub mission before we get our nightclub raided. Yeah, that would be no good. <laughs> Put that away. All right. I wonder if the uh, nightclub adds to your money in the office. Probably not, would be my guess. And uh, I think I wouldn't tell anyway, because I don't think I have many places left for money. <laughs> yeah, we got everything but maid service. <laughs> All right, let's go. Are we gonna make some deals? Yes, we are. We are, Penny. We're hey, gonna make what? a brand new kind of deal, what actually. What can I do for you? Uh, you can get me. What can we? Uh, Quite a collection uh, you've got here. Thank you. Thank you, Penny. Well, we'll get our new our new nightclub vehicle. They're new nightclub management vehicle. vehicle around right now. Our Sand King XL. Yeah. Fan favorite for new usage. <laughs> so I'm still wearing my. Club Studio Los Santos t-shirt representing the club. All right. So Maud's still looking for me to take out some people for that hatchet. I gotta get that done too. It's great to see her back in the game too. Maud from the single player used to send you on missions for Trevor to get people. All right, here it is, our new Sand King XL nightclub management vehicle. <laughs> Four seater. Oh, let me turn that off so it doesn't get in our way with the mission music. There we go. Night go management coming through. <laughs> All right, poor Bahama Wamas West is doing poorly these days. <laughs> We can take this way. We're in nightclub management. We're allowed. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna rain. Well, that's okay. We're in a truck and we're gonna be driving our new van to the Vapid Speedo Custom. That's from what I understand, that's what it gives you on the cell mission, so we're gonna find out for sure. So let's head in the back. It's quicker access to your office than going through the front. Uh, I already have a personal vehicle there. It shouldn't pop me out here. It'd be nice if it asked you again. There we go. In we go. Hey, I don't know if you're saving up that crystal for personal consumption or because it looks pretty, but... No, because I'm already at another business, LJG. You're going to have to wait. going to have to wait. I'll be there soon. Okay, now let's see. Uh, let's, let's go yeah, to the office. Although, actually, we don't even... Do I need to go to the office? Is there a computer down here? There's one on B1. I don't think there is a computer here on B2. No. No, there is not. We have to go up to B1. So you can go to your nightclub office. Obviously, that's the main office computer. But as far as I understand, everything does launch from the B1 office. So if you don't feel like going up to the nightclub or, or where people are or... Whatnot, you can always launch it from down here. 
just the floor under B1. Business floor B1. All right, keep up good work, buddy. Keep a watch out. <laughs> a lot of shady people upstairs having fun. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Sell goods. Okay, so I'm going to buy the new warehouses soon to uh, be able to fill it up. So I only bought the warehouses I thought we needed, but I might buy the rest soon. Although you guys might want to uh, wait for a sale on those because they're kind of pricey to be able to store more stuff in it. So let's see, we can sell sporting goods, which is our guns and ammunition, I believe. Yep. We can sell pharmaceutical research, which are meth. American imports, four to four. Cocaine. And cash creation, 16 out of 16. Yeah. Now all of these have different amounts of time that we went through. I'll probably do a guide on it in the future that they all have different amounts of time for uh, and price for uh, for each individual thing. And you guys can weigh which ones are more worthwhile to you. Like printing and copying, you don't get many, many much for them um, for having the document forgery company out there, but they do accumulate really fast. Okay, so let's, uh, well, what would be a good one to sell for our nightclub first? Hmm, cocaine's very appropriate. <laughs> Uh, I think cash creation, counterfeit cash. Yeah, it's a front operation, money laundering, right? Counterfeit cash. I think that just makes sense. So we'll sell that first. All right, so what are we selling here for? So 56,000. Probably because, like I said, I should accumulate more, but that's okay. You do want to run a bunch of these uh, sell missions to unlock the better prices on the Mule Custom and the MTL Pounder if you plan on getting those, the MTL Pounder uh, Custom. So you want to run five missions, five sell missions for the MTL um, uh uh, mule and for the bigger one the mtl pounder 10 cell missions and then you get a better slightly better price for those if that matters to you here we go our very first nightclub cell and then we'll run some more enter the delivery vehicle the buyer has thrown in a cash bonus bad news you got to get the shipment to them looking pristine no mm. scrapes no scratches no head-on collisions drive like an old lady for a change should not be a problem <laughs> All right, here we go. The goods have been transferred to the delivery vehicle. Deliver the goods to buyer to receive the payment. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Finished up with Tony's phone call and was just thinking, yeah, before we hop in. So we got to not be damaged, I guess. The buyer's paying extra on top of the agreed price. Now the goods delivering in good condition. Avoid taking damage to maximize the profit. Okay. Well, let's hopefully get over here for a second and set our GPS. Where are we going? Three spots out on the map. Almost uh, in a line there. So we'll go to the closest one. Let's turn off our top turret for now. That way I won't go spooking everybody. Those guns, the top mounted guns have a way of automatically um, spooking people as if you just shove the gun at them, right? So that can cause all kinds of unwanted attention and the cops and, and uh, various cars crashing into you and doing damage. All kinds of bad things. <laughs> Alright, so here we are coming up on the very first drop. Looks like we have a 20 minute timer. That's not too bad. And I picked the wrong road. Wrong road. We'll pass through the Epsilon program building here. Drop the goods. Goods dropped. We delivered goods. Yes, we did. Avoid some damage. And we could wing it, but we'll we'll uh, set our GPS. Head off to stop number two. So you do need to be on a public session for these missions. Unfortunately, you cannot do it on invite-only sessions. It's a pity. But common these days, the, you know, the Rockstar makes us do all this stuff on public sessions. Thankfully, you can do a lot of things at the nightclub in invite-only sessions, but uh, private sessions, but you can't do it, um, any of the main things like selling. So, and thankfully it's just the two of us on this one. But people could join any time on this session. So it's a good idea to keep your eye on who's in the session and on the map just in case. Because I think in these kinds of missions, that's your main challenge, is if other people interfere or not. Your other challenge would be just the timer, which seems to be pretty oh, generous. <laughs> Don't want to lose our balance bonus. Well, everything seems okay for now. <laughs> that's why we got a plow on the front of this. <laughs> yeah. 
That's right. Yeah, these Speedo Custom Vans are pretty cool. They come free, well, free included with the price of the nightclub. And you have to upgrade them. But it's still kind of nice to be a free vehicle originally. And to be included with it. So I definitely recommend upgrading yours. And then it makes these cell missions easier. For some people it's the main vehicle they use. Some people like to use the others. I'd say the MTL Pounder, the big one, is very popular too. Yeah. But it's nice having the gun on the top, just like the weaponized Tampa. It's pretty cool. And you can still access your weapons while in the car too, which is nice. In the van. Whoa. Gotta watch out. Slippery roads in the rain here. Speed up. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, I was going to take that shortcut, but I'm not really, yeah, we're going a different way. I was going to say, I'm not sure that's going to help us. Whoa. All right, let's go down here. Now, usually I take the shortcut straight ahead and just go down that hill. I don't know if that front of that van's really going to catch on things yet, so i got to test around with that some more. So I don't want to do the damage on our bonus mission here, so... It's not much of a bonus, though, only 10,000, but I try to do the missions right. At least the first time, right? Why not? Oh, thunder. Lightning. Awesome. Here we are in the zone. On my screen, there's no kind of corona or anything, no kind of zone to tell you. You just kind of have to look on your map and wait for it to pop up. Speaking of which, let's go there. There we go. All right. Off to spot number three. So far, no enemies or anything. That's good. And there's always a possibility there's going to be some kind of finale here at the end to fight guys, but I don't think so. I think as long as uh, other people don't mess with you and you get it done in time, you're good. Now, another thing to mention that we'll be probably doing in an upcoming Cell Mission episode is that you can apparently Cargo Bob, the Cargo Bob helicopter, you can Cargo Bob this uh, van and uh, fly it around to these drops. <laughs> so you probably need to do some arranging with a friend to kind of work together for that. But uh, apparently you can do that too. And I think it's the only cell vehicle that's light enough for the cargo bob to pick up. It does not work with the mule and the MTL pounder. So that's what I've read, but I still have to test it. But we'll test it out together, maybe in the next cell mission. We'll see. So, a little bit further away for our, our drive out here. <laughs> I think somebody coming went. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll keep some gas down now. But you got to be careful in the rain, though. Something like this, there is no real stopping right away. You feel like you can, but you really can't. <laughs> Yeah, I still wish we could take our cargo and put it into whatever we wanted. It would make sense, though, if you, you know, had limits to certain vehicles. That would be cool. You know, you could put it in the back of trunks. Or maybe use our Sand King, you know, and each one would have a certain amount you could put into them. That'd be awesome. All right, here we are. Delivery. All goods successfully sold to the buyer. All right. And we have successfully money laundered out of our money laundering company. <laughs> Studio Los Santos. Not just a party place. <laughs> okay, so here's where we are. The time was a hot club brought in so much untaxed cash, we had to launder the takings or just stuff it behind ceiling panels. Now it's the other way around. We run bad cash through the registers, pay the IRS, and use the club to launder your ill-gotten gains. It's not free, but it's a whole lot better than having the IRS up your ass. Believe me. <laughs> I take a small cut out of every sale you make, and you sleep well at night. Thank me later. Hmm. Well, there we go. Now, I don't know if I'd call 10% a small cut. 
I think I'd call 2%, 5%, a small cut, 10%, eh, Tony, I don't know, who's the investor here? <laughs> oh well, we're making money right out of the back of a nightclub. <laughs> Big hand for Midnight S'mores, keeping the van level. Yeah, without two players, we might have fallen over on one side or the other. <laughs> never know when you're going to need a hand, though. You never know when people are going to come on. Yeah. As many of you guys already know, you know, you do have to watch it. You know, I've talked to other people about this. I'll call in a vehicle here. But, uh, you know, people can spawn in, as many people know, and be right on to you in no time. You'd be amazed how fast some people come after you or come to see what you're up to. So it's a good thing to be aware and to be sharp and to kind of check that server list here and there and be aware of who's around you. Yeah. Because even when you think you're on your own, it can change fast. Uh, let's go hop into the uh, nightclub management vehicle. Oh, I should pull it off the road here. That tiny little Hummer's in the way. <laughs> uh, that's a great nightclub management vehicle, I think. <laughs> well, rainy days. I guess we'll get back to some grinding. Maybe we'll do some more laid-back grinding soon, too. I'll well, just pull over here for a quick second. All right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching our first nightclub cell. I'm the Missing Sock. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. It really makes a big difference. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you again next time very, 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 very soon. Yeah, for probably more after-hour stuff. Oh, I can hop in the back. <laughs> You're not going to drive? No. <laughs> I, I, I'm a studio nightclub owner. <laughs> That's okay. We'll drive her. <laughs> she des earned it. Definitely deserved it. Oh, she just survived the bounty placed on them. Yep, see? what I tell you? <laughs> Take care, everybody. See you again next time. Mm -hmm.